Hey everybody, Jeff Teak here. How does Lexus TX drive? Within the Lexus TX family, you can get three different powertrain options. This is the 350, so it's the 2.4 liter turbocharged gasoline. You could also get the 500H, which is the hybrid, or you could get the plug-in hybrid, that would be the 550H+. Look at this Nightfall Mica blue color. It's gorgeous. I've done other videos where we've done walk-arounds, including key features, technology, safety, so we're gonna do a quick walk around like we did here, and then we're gonna look inside. And then I'm gonna take it for a spin so that you can see the ride comfort, the spacing, cargo area, that kind of stuff, technology features in use, because this is a great vehicle. It's smooth, quiet, comfortable, 21 Mark Levinson speakers. This is the premium trim within the 350, and then it has convenience and technology packages on here. 14 inch screen on one side, 12.3 inch screen on another side, and the second row, this is where it gets fun. This is a bench seat across. You could also get captain chairs. So this could be a six passenger vehicle or a seven passenger vehicle. You will not find it as an eight passenger vehicle. If you want eight passenger and you have to have that, Go with Grand Highlander. So this is where my niece's car seat is. Got that set up for quite a ways back. Easy to latch in. I did that myself. And then push this, and then we can get into the back seat. And if we want to raise the seats, look at this. I did this. So that's a way to configure the seats from the back. That's pretty cool, right? You just have to push the buttons once, goes all the way through, and we've got USB-Cs. That's a grab handle right there. There's room for flasks in all three. Not drinking flasks, well, yeah, but hydro flasks. So look at that. Place for iPad holder right here. Cup holders right here. And look, this button right here controls the back of the seat. I love Lexus technology and extra We'll call it experience amazing features. All right, that's very nice. This is a kick sensor also for the back. Good room back here, 20.2 cubic feet of space. You can also adjust, let's push maybe this one. So you can have one area for cargo space and one area for people space. So now we made it a one, two, three, four, five, six passenger with room for cargo if you're going on a longer car trip. I like the versatility. I find that the seats are very comfortable. I like the panoramic roof here. I love the fact that it has an interesting way to open the doors. You just push that and the door opens. Power mirrors, that's nice. The blind spot is right there. Blind spot monitor is right there. Look, three memory positions, power steering wheel, paddle shifters. If you wanna drive more involved with the ride, do that. Driver monitor sensor, so it tells you when you're paying attention or not. Look at that. Very cool, so we've got the 12.3 inch screen here. Here's the horn, just like that. And then 14 inch screen. Oh, my name is, oh, my name is Wiki 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 Wiki. So we can pinch, zoom, all that jazz. We can, look at that, control it yourself. And I can do Waze, Google Maps, 10 inch head up display right here. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, I like that. Digital rear view mirror. That's also super nice as well. I just hit the power back tailgate. Excellent. And then look at all the connectivity. I've got one plugged in. We've got two more USB-Cs. Storage space in here. Got my cup right here. TRD Pro, baby. Woo! Super nice. And then got storage room in here. Pretty easy to use your controls. I like that as well. All in all, it's a fantastic interior. I love it. Let's go for a drive. I guess the best place to start is with the basics. This is 275 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque. That means you've got a 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine. Ooh, that was a mouthful. And that's matched with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Has paddle shifters down here, so I can tweak it. I can shift it on my own if I don't want to use the traditional shifter. I want to be more involved. I can do that. 
Now this is not the hybrid. You can get the 500H or the 550H plus. That would be the plug-in hybrid. So if you want more horsepower, some electric range to drive you as far as you want, maybe the 550H plus, that would be the way to go. If you want maybe more improved gas mileage, you'd go with the 500H, the hybrid. So lots of different choices here. My theory, Lexus is always known, just like Toyota, smooth, quiet, comfortable. Lexus, experience amazing. Let's see how we do. Fuel mileage is gonna be 20 in the city, 26 on the highway, with 23 combined. I'm getting 22.1 right now. I could get better gas mileage, but I'm driving it a little bit more spirited, we'll call it, so that I can see what it can really do at this 2.4 turbo. Handles real well. Feels solid going around the turns. Doesn't necessarily lean into the turns, but it feels solid enough. When we're accelerating to our top speed, you're gonna hear the engine noise a little bit. But what I found with the turbocharge, we do get a burst of speed, probably within, I guess, probably like anywhere from 10 to 50, 60. It does have some extra boost, so 317 pound-feet of torque. That's nothing to laugh at. Although we could laugh at it. <laughs> Let's test out and see if we can do here a zero to highway cruising speed. We should be able to do this, but can we do this? All right, so we'll be going up a hill here. And go. I'm already up to 60 and then I'm at 70. That was actually pretty good. Now we heard the engine, we definitely heard the engine, but it tailed right off when I got up to my 70. And then we'll put our adaptive cruise on at around 73, let's say. Look at this head up display. A lot of our information is controlled right from this very center. This one right here. Woo, nice job GoPro. Now look what we can do. We can control our following speed with our adaptive cruise control. We can change the speed, and watch this, we can change our following distance right from the head-up display. So that could change, it just tweaks, 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 so I want a short distance in between, and it shows us the speed limit that we're going, it also shows us what speed we should be going. Having this information available on a head-up display and used, controlled from this side of the steering wheel and this side of the steering wheel on two different keypads, takes a little bit of a learning curve but I'm getting better at it and I think you would too it's nice having that information right where you're looking so that you're not looking down looking down looking down because your driver attention monitor would say hey driver inattention alert pay attention look forward also if you're looking down or you're slumped over it'll say we cannot see the driver's eyes so they'll say sit upright pretty good safety feature it's like Sorry, I screwed up, but they want you to pay attention. Who wouldn't want to be paying attention on the road, right? I'll tell you what, the sun is bright this morning. What I'm finding from my observations at highway cruising speeds, the car is very quiet. You don't hear a lot of engine noise. I don't really hear wind noise off of the side mirror, which is excellent. Do I hear wind noise? Maybe it's not windy, but there's always a little bit of wind, especially in between the trees here really not hearing it it's a very quiet vehicle so I think if you had the radio on or you're just having a conversation with somebody in the first second or even third row third row back there then I think you'll be just fine I don't think you'll be distracted or irritated that you bought this vehicle because of the noise that you hear at your highest speeds for me something that I'm not quite sure about is these cup holders here they're square and as you know putting a round piece into a square hole isn't necessarily the most efficient or easiest way so look at my flask right here I've got my water going and it's not gonna tip over but it is rolling around so I think maybe having a different system might be a way to go on this one it is the kind that you can just take right out so that's interesting and it opens up a big giant bin container so if you want storage that's a good way to do it but it just kind of pops out and then pops in like that. We've got in our lane centering, we've also got in our adaptive cruise control, and then in a simulated environment, 
I'm gonna see if I can go around this turn. Jazz hands. Look at that, going all the way around the turn. Nice and smooth, it's not jerking me or pushing me to either side. And it is saying lane tracing assist, hold on to the steering wheel. So after a certain amount of time, it will tell you, hey yo, you have to be holding this steering wheel for safety. This is an example in a Jeff T controlled environment to tell you that hold on to the steering wheel. But if you needed to, the safety system will take you around that turn and you will probably be okay. That's good, we want peace of mind, right? That's what the Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0 does. Hey Lexus, directions to PNC Arena, Raleigh, North Carolina. I found PNC Arena, would you like to go now? How long will it take to get there? PNC Arena is 6.75 miles and you should get there in 16 minutes. Would you like to go now? Well, thanks for watching everybody. What do you think about Lexus TX? Any driving impressions stood out to you? Thanks so much. And you'll find on both of my channels, there'll be a Lexus playlist. So click the Lexus playlist if you want to learn more about, well, Lexus cars and SUVs, all that kind of jazz. There's so much to see. Experience amazing with Lexus. I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews and Auto Jeff Reviews. And I'm at Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. I'll see you guys later. And of course, I appreciate you hitting subscribe and for clicking the Lexus playlist. Thanks guys so much and I'll catch you next time. You're awesome.